how many atoms of copper are in a Canadian penny? Well, for those of you who don't know what a penny is, let me reach inside the piggy bank here. This piggy bank is a cat waving at me with a turtle on its belly. If you can tell me what a turtle, uh, if you can tell me what that means, tell me in the comments, because I have no idea. Oh, I grabbed a penny first try, look at that. A penny is a copper coin worth $0.01. This one's from 2005. Ah, uh, they don't make these anymore. So it's probably about 2.35 grams. And unfortunately, even though it looks like a copper coin, it's only 4.5% copper. And that's because copper uh, kind of got expensive in the 2000s. Now they're mostly steel with a small amount of zinc. And uh, they're just plated in copper. So it's 4.5% by mass. What you're here for is how to figure out how much copper is in there. Well, first of all, 4.5% of the 2.35 grams is, well, I'm going to have to do 2.35 times 0 0.045. I like converting percents to decimals to do that multiplication on my calculator. Maybe you, fellow student, just do 4.5 divided by 100. And you call it there. 2.35 times 4.5% gives me just 0 0.10575 grams of actual copper. Now, to convert that to atoms, I'm going to need to convert it to moles first. Always convert grams to moles, then you can turn it into a number of particles. The number of moles is going to be the mass divided by molar mass, or in this case, atomic mass of copper. The mass that I'm converting is 0 0.10575 grams, and the molar mass or atomic mass of copper is, I believe, 65.3, 63.55 grams per mole. If I'm wrong about that, you wouldn't be watching this video. 63.55 is what I'm going to divide my mass by. That gives me a tiny, tiny number, 0.001664 moles. Now that is a way to measure the quantity of particles in something. In order to convert that to actual atoms, I'm going to use the other formula. Number of particles is moles times Avogadro's number. That's going to be 0 0.001664 times 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23. Now, the units on this are whatever you're measuring per mole. In this case, it's atoms per mole. And the per mole cancels with the moles and it leaves you with atoms times 6.022. Now, the way I type times 10 to the power of on this calculator is with this faded EXP button. When I press it, it gives me times 10 to the power of. You may have an EE button like two capital letter E's, and if it gives you a capital E on your output here, that itself means times 10 to the power of. Just make sure you get the same answer as I do, and uh, if you don't, then you type something wrong, and we'll have to figure that out together another day. Here I get, oh, that's fun, 1.002 times 10 to the power of 21. I want you to double check that you got E21 for that. Oh, look, it, it made it E for me on my output too, but then it displays it as times 10 to the 21. That is the actual number of atoms of copper that are in that penny, you know, approximately. I'm going to have to worry about significant figures here though too. This had two, sig three significant figures, one, two, three. This one only had two, and I stole this number from Wikipedia. So if you have a more accurate percentage your sig figs might be different, but I only have two sig figs here. So one, two, my answer is actually 1.0 times 10 to the 21 atoms. And your answer should be about the same. Hey, welcome to, uh, welcome to the land of outdated currency that doesn't exist anymore. Tell your teacher if they gave you this question to update their packet with relevant questions. And, uh, you know, best of luck.